Okay, this is a video on how to make an email campaign in Interspire. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to look at email statistics for the last campaigns we run, which is uh, here, email statistics. Then we're going to come up, we're going to click on view, and you'll notice that um, for each of these, we have the email sent, and then we have the unsubscribes and the bounces. So this is showing us that it appears to be working for the most part. We just want to check this, then we can see there's 6,000 opens here, which looks good from the last mailing. Then we're going to look at the links. So we had a total of 119 unique clicks, and this is the link they clicked on. So we're just going to click on that to check it. Looks good. Looks like it worked. So all of that's good. Then the next thing we're going to do is go to create new email campaign. So we're going to call this Mike Phil Same Little Fish. Um, and that is the name of the offer. It's Mike Phil Same's Little Fish. We're going to put the date. And all of these we do uh, HTML and text and we use no template and then we click on next. Email subject. So we have a whole list of good email subjects here that we want to take a look at. So let's take a look at them here and if we can find them. And we can't. Oh, here they are. Offer copy. Okay, should be a list of subject lines in here. There we go, subject lines. So, um, I like this one, awaiting your response. So that uh, is something that will get people to open the email, is what we're trying to do there. And we notice it's all in lowercase. So uh, a lot of times we have better success put, putting them in lowercase. And then the next thing we're going to do is put in the copy or the uh, body of the email. We call this the swipe copy. And that's uh, just called swipe copy. That's just an industry term. So we drop it in there, cut and paste it in there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on check for spam keywords. So contains the word username. So that means that is a bad were that the uh, email companies know that a lot of spammers use, so we want to make sure we don't use that in our email. So we click on fine, okay? So there it is. So um, we're just going to change it to product, and then we're going to. We always make these very short lines because people don't like to read long lines of text so we will um, put it like this so it's little short lines of text make sure also that there's a uh, the spaces are all correct and that kind of thing Okay, and then also we always have to have the unsubscribe notice here, <clears throat> which uh, allows people to unsubscribe so we won't email them anymore. And um, we do this here. We click on this insert unsubscribe link. You can see that. <clears throat> then we want to um, make sure there's no lines after it. So we just delete everything after this so that it's going to actually be. It looks like this. There's no uh, extra lines after it. And then we are going to take the link, cut that off. Here's the link. Um, <coughs> This is the open message here. We want to make sure this is on the top line. You can see that there's no extra lines there. And we're going to put the link in to here. 
We always want to have the link in three places or more, three to five places in the email where people can click on the link. And then we want to have one version of just what we would call the naked link. And the reason we have that is so when we go to the text only version, if someone sees that, they can uh, take that and put it into the browser. Then we're going to make everything 12 point except for this um, top open bit and then the unsubscribe notice. They stay small. Now, <clears throat> this is very critical here. You click on the uh, this right here, it says HTML, click on that. Now there's a problem with this inner spire. We need to remove everything, all these divs. See where it says DIV? Uh, remove all of that. Then copy and paste this from the top to the bottom. So this is going to be the um, text-only version at the bottom, and then the full email here at the top. Then we're going to click on View Your <clears throat> Campaign a Different Email Service Providers. So this is what's going to show up. And we can check the link here. It's going to right-click open a new tab. You can see it's going to the little fish which is the offer that we are promoting right now. Hey there, hey it's, there Matt it's Matt Bush and for the past three years now I've been making a six... Then we are going to <clears throat> go in here and do the uh, test email. So this is going to test send a test email to both of um, the email campaigns. <clears throat> then we click on save and then here you can see here's the email that we have created so that's how we create an email campaign <laughs>